Hey there, I'm Sam, the creator of TypeShare, and in this video, I just want to give you a quick demo of everything that you can do with TypeShare. TypeShare is the hub for online writers. It's where you will be creating and publishing your atomic essays and Twitter threads for Ship 30 for 30. All right, let's get into it. So I've gone ahead and signed in with my Twitter account, but you can also choose to sign up with Google if you'd prefer. When you first sign in, you're in your library. This is where all of your created content lives. So let's start by creating an atomic essay. To do this, hit the create button, then select atomic essay. You can then choose if you want to create a blank essay or select from a bunch of helpful templates. For this demo, let's choose a blank one. So this is the essay editor. Here, you'll write, format, and style your atomic essays. Let's add some text to get started. So I've gone ahead and pasted in some dummy text for this essay. Now let's have a look at the formatting options you have in TypeShare. The formatting options are all located at the top of your screen. And just like in most text editors, you can select text to, for example, bold it just by highlighting the text and pressing the bold icon. You can do the same thing with italics. And you can also do a few other cool things. Like for example here, just highlight some text and turn it into a quote block. And another thing you can do is select text and highlight it just by clicking the highlighter icon. You can also turn blocks of text into lists just by clicking the list icon. And you can also select between two heading sizes. While you're writing your essay, there's an important thing to consider, and that's the Twitter icon in the bottom left of your screen beside the word count. When the bird is green, it means that when you share your image to Twitter, it will look perfect and be entirely visible in the image preview of a Twitter user's timeline. If the bird is yellow, you can still share to Twitter, but the image may be cropped and not as readable. To get the Twitter bird green, you can choose between six different font sizes. Most TypeShare users keep the font size around a three or four. Once your essay is written, it's time to style. All of the style options are located in the style pane on the right side of your screen. Here you can select a layout and font pairing, as well as customize every color of your essay, and even save it as a custom theme. You can also choose between a handful of pre-crafted color presets. From this menu, you can also hide or show certain elements of your essay, like the title, author, or footer. Once you are ready to share your essay, just hit the publish button in the bottom right. This brings up the publish modal. When you publish an essay from TypeShare, it automatically gets published to your TypeShare gallery. Think of your gallery as a blog. It's a great place to show off all of your essays in one spot. You can edit all the information you see here from within the TypeShare dashboard. All right, let's head back to the editor. Now we can share this essay to Twitter, directly from TypeShare. To do this, just type a tweet here, or select thread if you'd prefer to publish this essay with a thread. You can then publish this tweet immediately or schedule it to be published at a later date. I'm going to publish this one now. And there you have it. That's how you create and publish an atomic essay on TypeShare. So now let's take a look at creating and publishing a Twitter thread. To make a thread, go back to the TypeShare dashboard and select the Create button again. Now choose Twitter thread. Again, you can choose between a blank thread or some awesome templates. Now that you're in the thread editor, just type away and create a thread. Add two new lines to create a new tweet, Add images by selecting the image icon attached to each tweet. You can even tag users, add links, all just like you would on Twitter. Once you're ready to publish, you can choose to publish now or schedule for later. 
I'm going to schedule this one for later today. Awesome, it's all scheduled. Now let's head back to the dashboard. Here you can see that I have one published essay as well as a thread scheduled for later. Once the scheduled time arrives, this thread will publish to my gallery as well as my Twitter profile. Finally, you can select the Explore tab at the top of your screen to view writing from your Fellowship 30 for 30 members as well as all TypeShare users. And that's all for this demo. I hope you enjoy using TypeShare, and if you have any questions, you can find me on Twitter at SamJShore or in the Ship3430 Slack group. Thanks a lot, and happy writing.